Welcome back to another vlog. I just actually finished filming this vlog, but I'm gonna start off the video with a little mini Nasty Gal try on haul because I just opened up my Nasty Gal package and I need to show you guys everything I got because it's so cute. I literally couldn't wait. So I'm gonna start off the video with a little try on haul. Nasty Gal is sponsoring today's video, so I just want to give them a quick shout out, say thank you. All these pieces are so cute. I'm about to show you guys and I'm obsessed. So I will link them down below. I'll have the sizes as well So you guys can check them out if you want and let's get into it my bed over there But the first set right here. It's so cute. It's like a beige matching Moment comfy oversized sweatshirt. We got some joggers. I'm obsessed with these joggers. They fit so well just drawstring they have little pockets I love them and Going over here. I'll show you guys the shoes first these are super cool. They're just these chunky slides. I love slides for taking the dog out. I just think that they're so easy and effortless. Also, like, I just love wearing slides. They are just so simple and easy to throw on. And I got these boots right here, these chunky crocodile boots. So cute. They have a big, thick heel. So these are going to be really comfy and cute for the fall and winter. And starting with the pants, I am obsessed with both pairs of pants that I got. Usually it's like a hit or miss with Nasty Gal when I'm getting pants, if I'm being completely honest. I am usually a 27 in all pants and 27 or a 6. And I got size 6 in both of these and they fit so well. What I love about them is that it has like a slit up the side. These pants are amazing. They're just like these black legging pants that flare out at the bottom with a little slit. These look so cute with like a pair of sneakers, a little plain black top. We have the brown crocodile. These are everything. Obsessed with these. Can't wait to wear those. Really cute orange halter top that I want to wear with my orange sneakers that I just got. And then this really cute black and white or like gray and white tie-dye tank. I just thought that it was so fun and different. And then we have this white top. It's just a long sleeve. It has little like bell sleeves or sleeves that flare out. And then a cute little tie around your waist. It's a v-neck. It was kind of hard to show in the try-on because it was a little bit see-through in the front and I didn't have a good bra. So yeah, you guys can see what it looks like on the model, but it's super cute. I'm obsessed with this. And then got another cute comfy set, just this little cream sweater. And matching pants love the pants they have a little slit up the side which is so cute you guys know we love a matching set moment over here and then these pieces right here are actually from the nasty gal and emrata collection which is live on their site right now and I got pieces from her collection last year and I was so obsessed with them I still have one of the white sets that I got and they're just all super cute I love her style so I had to pick up a few pieces from her collection first piece is this long mesh maxi dress um, which would be so cute with like a bikini on over it it's just plain simple black mesh this top I'm obsessed with I can't wait to wear it it's just like a little black silk cami that ties in the back it's like one of the bandana tops super cute I love this plain little black dress love that it is like silky one shoulder so cute has a little mini slit up the side and then this dress right here Oh my god, it is so cute. It's so flattering. It has like a rouged detailing up the side. You can like scrunch it. I don't know if that's what you would call it, rouge, but it has one of those little ties. You can like scrunch it, make it a little bit shorter, pull it all the way out, make it longer. One shoulder, little cute cutouts. Love this. So if you guys want to check them out. Oh, I just saw three. <laughs> Literally as I was recording, I looked up at my camera, saw three through three. That's so weird. Um, but if you guys want to check out any of these pieces, I will have them linked down below in the description. Super cute. Love everything. So I will link everything down below so you guys can check it out. Everything is so cute. And let's get into the vlog. One fell. Oh, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. So what happens to all the ones that fall? The apple drops are probably what they use to make the ciders, and I'm sure they they're not. I mean, obviously there's some rotting ones, but I bet you the good ones just go to cider. We can go further down. Oh, Maggie gets one every time. Good girl, good find. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's a beautiful one. It's got a flower. <laughs> 
<laughs> he doesn't He's want so it. Silly. Okay, we just got back. We went apple picking with my mom, as you guys saw. And now, I can't wait to show you. We're doing like a fall dinner. Emma and I are cooking tonight together. So I just thought it'd be fun to like vlog and show you guys like what we're making, what we, oh, this is dead. What we're baking with the apples that we just bought. So I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I wanted to light a candle. If you know, you know, this is the best fall candle that exists. We're gonna wait to light that. Poured myself a glass of wine, Santa Margarita, Pinot Grigio. Also the best wine out there, but yeah, so I'm just waiting for Emma to get back. Milo got the cutest haircut. He looks so adorable and he was so good when he went to the groomer. They just did like a little cleanup around his eyes, like on his face, on his paws. They cut his nails and kind of did like an introduction to getting groomed. So he wasn't like scared or anything when he comes back to get fully groomed when he's a little bit older. But right now he is sleeping on the couch. I'll show you guys when he's awake. Or I'll just insert a photo right here that he took today because I don't want to like wake him up and disturb him because he's literally sleeping. So good right now. Oh, I leave him. I have all of the apples over here that we got. I put them in, well, my mom helped me, but she put them in my big bowl in the middle of my dining table. And these apples are huge. They're kind of like dusty just from, because they're like so fresh. But once you like wash them off and polish them, they are literally like sparkling. And we picked all of the big ones because they're the best for baking. So I'm really excited about that. Also, my mom helped me like rearrange a lot of the things in my apartment, like I redid the table again. And then she helped me with this table right here. And I think it looks really cute. We added like the little pumpkins that I showed you guys in my last vlog. I have my olive branches, this little vase thing. And then we have books and this really yummy reed diffuser. And I actually got this idea to buy this from this blogger that I follow on Instagram. I've been following her for like five years. Her name is Sivan Ayla and she showed this and she was like, I have these all over my house and they just smell so good. They last so long, obviously, because they're huge and it's called Coco Coco. I'll show you guys. You can, I'll link it too if I can find it. Um, but I have this right here and then just like books and stuff, stuff I got from Home Goods. But the table is looking really nice. And then what I want to show you guys before we get cooking is my mom helped me with hanging, don't mind all my laundry, it's laundry day over here, but my mom helped me hang the photo for over the bed. So we finally have this hung. It makes the room just feel so much better. I'm really obsessed with it, um, but yeah. And this area, I finally like cleaned up all my laundry <laughs> off of here. I still need to figure out what to do with my perfumes. I don't really know what to do with them yet, like how to display them, but I have my giant jewelry box, and then I just have this shell thing with a book, random tag that I need to throw away but everything's coming together. And I just got these little bear things from Kith. I know that they have a name, but I'm drawing a blank right now. And I really wanna put these somewhere in my apartment. I just don't know where yet. I need to find a place for them, but I just thought they're really cute. It's like Andy Warhol. The print is on it and I used to have a bag with this print when I was younger so I decided to get this because it was like really sentimental to me so yeah those are the decor updates at the moment that I want to show you guys I'm doing a full apartment tour coming very very soon I just don't know when I'm gonna film it yet but I need to get on that but in the meantime I just washed all of these Brussels sprouts we're gonna do I'm gonna make the dinner you're gonna make dessert right yeah because Emma's a really good baker and I'm getting, I've gotten really good at like cooking. So we're gonna do that. <laughs> Brussels sprouts in this big mixing bowl and what I love to do is just add the olive oil in the bowl. My mom tells me to use a generous amount of oil and I trust her. Cinnamon. And cinnamon because I like cinnamon. Oh I like cinnamon. Also it's almost five five five. Um and a generous amount 
of salt always, she said, and pepper. I've been learning a lot from mom these past few days. And then just do like a mixing moment. I like forgot that I had, my toaster had the air fryer setting. How long do you think I should do? 425 or 400? For? The air fry. Time, probably 20 minutes. Sure. Or 25. Does it still cook normal? You're 20. Okay. Yeah, I mean like it cooks normal. I feel like it just cooks. I don't really remember. We'll just do this and kind of like wing it. And I'm freaking out because we're making butternut squash right now. And so we, I just peeled the whole thing. I cut the end and I was like, oh my God, Emma, there's literally seeds. I forgot that there was seeds and all this stuff on the inside. She was like, it's okay, just cut it down the middle. And so she's cutting it. She goes, get ready, Maggie, get a big spoon. <laughs> and we open it up and that is what's inside to scoop out. This looks so good, Emma. Wow. Okay, I preheated it to 400, is that okay? Cool. Ready for the big boy. Oh, oh my God. The apple crisp is looking, I'll tell you in two seconds. Oh my God, it's honestly looking so good. It's not quite like toasty on the top yet, but it looks good. You can actually take a look because I feel like you know better than I do. But excuse me. I have no words. I sprinkled some pumpkin and sunflower seeds on the Brussels sprouts. And this chicken looks so good. Chicken wow. <laughs> wow. This is fire. I don't know if I mentioned it, but on the Brussels sprouts, I added honey. Manuka honey and then I drizzled balsamic and they're so good and then I sprinkled some pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds And then also Emma helped make the squash. So I just boiled the squash Maggie And then mashed it. I put the seasons. Well, and I put the butter. Yeah, we used vegan butter What was the brand again by forager by forager? We did butter a lot of it and then Emma did Maple Cinnamon syrup. maple syrup so bomb I forgot to vlog too. Emma's apple crisp is so, so good. You guys, like, I can't wait for you guys to f find out this recipe because I've like never had anything like this before. <laughs> I'm going to get my eyebrows done. If you can tell, my eyebrows are like very, very, very overgrown and I need to go get them threaded. I haven't got them done probably since July, I wanna say. August, September, October. So today's October 1st, three months. But I w I've been waiting for them to kind of like grow out. I really wanted them to be like a thicker than they were before. I feel like before COVID, my eyebrows, I get them done every two weeks and I just feel like they were very thin. So I was really like, letting them grow out before I like got them done and got them shaped also I just like don't know how to do them myself so I'm gonna have to figure that out but I'm gonna go get them done I'm gonna get them reshaped I'm gonna get them cleaned up because they clearly need it so yeah <laughs> hey you guys eyebrows on fleek <laughs> ow that hurts so bad that literally hurts so bad my eyes are watering and I like felt like I was gonna sneeze because it just oh 
Ooh, and the sound sound of it like ripping all of the hairs off of my eyebrows. Wow, that was um very I don't even know, but I mean at least my eyebrows look really good. Why like why that one looks bomb. I'm like wondering why I went that long without getting them done. Sometimes I question myself. I'm like, I barely wear makeup in my YouTube videos. I was like letting my eyebrows grow out and they were all like crazy and I kind of just am like I don't know I wear sweatpants every day and then I think about it and I'm like I put this stuff on the internet for thousands of people to see and I feel like it just seems like I don't know I just like never have my shit together when it comes to like making myself look presentable because I feel like I just don't care half the time and sometimes I'm like should I be like putting more effort in and like wearing makeup and doing all that um, but then other times I'm just like I, I literally don't care so I don't know those are just some thoughts that that were going through my head as I was getting my eyebrows done. Yeah, I went to Boston Threading on Newberry if you are in Boston They actually do a really good job and uh, usually it doesn't hurt this bad But like I said, I haven't gotten my eyebrows done in a minute. So that's probably why hello Oh, I just <laughs> literally just got done filming. What time is it right now? Six o'clock. I need a shower. I just bought Milo out. He ate dinner. We went outside. He went to the bathroom. And I just put him in his crate. So if you hear him barking, he is safe. Don't worry. Um, but I need to take a shower and stuff. And I just don't want him like getting into anything when I'm not watching him. Just because he has like the tendency to chew everything right now. And I get so worried. Like, I don't know, I just like don't want him to like choke on anything or be getting into anything that he's not supposed to because he was like biting on my phone charger when I was charging my phone and I don't know. So anyway, um, what I want to say was why I picked up my camera. I'm going to end off this video, but I filmed all day for this really special video that I'm going to be posting on my channel. I actually filmed it for my friends. They have a company called Hubi and they do um, like different segments and just like fun series and stuff on like their platforms and... Shh. And they are doing like a 73 questions type video, which I've always wanted to film one of those. It's not 73 questions. I think we did. I don't know how many, but it was like 20 or something. Um, but we filmed it in my apartment and it's so cool. And it was awesome. So we like did that all day. I was like filming for that. And I'm really excited for you guys to see it. They told me that I can like post it on my YouTube channel. And I was like, I really want to because I feel like that'd be a fun video for you guys to see. And I love the way that it came out. And I just think it'd be... I don't know, just like really fun and different to split up the vlogs. So anyway, um, I'm going to go shower and end off this video. I'm going to be starting a new vlog tomorrow. We're going to be doing a weekend vlog and I'm excited about that. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Also follow me on Instagram. I always link it down below so you can check that out too. I've been really having fun on my stories, like updating my Instagram stories a lot, posting like more food, photos of Milo constantly, and it's just been a lot of fun. So check me out, check it out, check me out, check me out on Instagram. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I love you and I'll see you in my next video.